Hi Cancer, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. I hope you miss me. <laughs> You're gonna miss me a little when I'm gone. I hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone. Gone. Okay, you could be saying that to somebody. I hope you miss me when I'm gone. Because, motherfucker, if you're not doing what you need to do to keep me or make me stay, I'm out of here. Damn, Cancer. Y'all cold-blooded. Y'all can have, um, Pisces are like that. Um, who else is like that? Libras are like that. Capricorns are like that. Aries are like that. Sagittarius. On a good day, they're like that. <laughs> All right. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right. Welcome back to my channel, Yance's Universe. It's me, Yance. I'll be doing your general reading for November, just pulling general energies. So the reading may not be that long, okay? But I will be pulling from a couple different decks. I'm sorry if it's loud. I'm over here by my patio, and it's loud outside. I live right by the highway. <clears throat> so I'm trying to talk a little louder for you. I have a little sniffle. So, y'all, check out all your other readings. Y'all was a mess, so check out the video shorts I've done for you. And then I did an extended to that, so check out your November extended. Um, let's jump into it. Y'all know what to do. Check the description box. We'll pop the rose and reverse them. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot and give me clear honest messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus, and North Node for November 2021. So what's the general energy, please? For Cancer. This is an energy between you and or your person, okay? Could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future, okay? The whole storyline may not, may not resonate, just take what resonates for you, all right? Innocence keeps coming out for every fucking body, innocence. Everyone's getting pregnant, everyone is having kids, innocence. There's something like... Innocence, there's something you're holding close to your chest, close to your heart. You don't you want to keep keep the memories that you have innocent, not tainted. You know, the feelings that you have for life, the feelings that you have for yourself, the feelings that you have for maybe your family or your person. No one can ruin the way I feel about this. No one can ruin the way I feel about you. Okay, innocence. All right, you see how she's holding her heart. So this is really about you. You know, doing the work, you know, clean, clearing your heart, cleansing your heart, healing your heart to where you're so healed, you don't even remember you've ever been hurt, okay? Anything else for cancer? I keep wanting to say Pisces. Ooh, it's because I just did Pisces. But the water signs readings have coincided, so all the water signs people just watch all the other water signs. Because y'all be getting some of the same messages. It'd be some of the same energy. Alright, anything else for cancer? you like, I just hope you miss me a little when I'm gone. Or you you, you saying, y'all motherfuckers gonna miss me when I'm gone. You could be telling your kids this. Y'all gonna wish I was still here. Or your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend. You gonna wish I was still here or some shit like that. Okay? You're dreaming about someone. Someone is dreaming about you. Okay? You're getting downloads, dreams. Okay? Someone's communicating with you through your dreams. Communication. Or expect a phone call or email or text message. Check your spam folder as well. Alright, let's see. Can you give me clear honest messages for cancer, please, Holy Spirit? going on for cancer for November 2021 I'm afraid of our connection you or this person was afraid of this connection they, they were afraid they could still be afraid okay and I don't have as much money as you think I'm afraid of this connection I don't have as much money as you think I'm, I'm not this I'm not the person you think I am I'm not this divine masculine that you think I am that's just so powerful and awesome and stable I'm, I'm not that okay someone is really talking down on themselves 
You could really love this person and see this person, see the innocence within this person and see all the good within this person, but they don't see it within themselves. Or someone is just afraid of the connection and someone just doesn't have as much money as you think. And it says, I pray for you. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. Okay? I love that song, y'all. I love that song. Yes, yeah, someone's a coward. They're afraid. They're afraid. of. I, I'm afraid of this connection. I'm afraid. Uh, they could be afraid of commitment, afraid of responsibility. Because being in those strong connections and relationships with your soulmate or twin flame, they're so powerful. They do scare people, you know? That's what causes people to run away. Hmm. What else do you have for cancer? Spiritual wake-up call. Okay? Yeah, I'm afraid of this connection, but I had a spiritual wake-up call. Okay? Now, and I pray for you. I'm praying that things work out between us. I pray that we be in a connection with each other. I'm praying for you and your well-being. Okay? That song that, that I'm singing, I pray for you, you pray for me, I love you, I need you to survive. They said, I won't harm you with words from my mouth. So maybe this person could have, you know, maybe said some things or done some things to where you think, damn, do they hate me? Okay, the spiritual wake-up call, they see the light, they see the truth. Now they're praying for you, praying for your well-being, praying that you're okay, okay? So... I don't know what could have possibly happened you could be hearing this from this person i've been thinking about you i've been dreaming about you i, I pray for you i hope you've been okay all right i just can't leave you alone okay this person just can't leave you alone and you can't leave them alone all right i cry and they cry themselves to sleep i cry myself to sleep at night masculine energy Okay, this masculine energy is crying themselves to sleep at night. Okay, he's a player, sis. Maybe you got signs that this person was a player. All right, and there were just a lot of things that happened. This person was afraid of the connection, and they did. They didn't have as much money as you thought. They come out as that, and I know the way that they probably went about doing it was very sneaky, malicious. All right, and they played you. Now they're praying for you, okay? I'm finally accepting our connection. Now they're finally accepting the connection. They didn't accept it at first. They didn't accept you, all right? They didn't accept it at first. Now they're crying themselves to sleep, praying for you, wishing for you, for another chance, projecting. This person could be astral projecting. You could think that you hear or see this person at times. All right, they projected their feelings onto you. Them being scared of the connection, them doing this, them doing that, they would gaslight you and say, oh, you made it seem like you didn't want a relationship. You made it seem like you weren't ready. You made it, you did this, or you never told me you wanted type, just a bunch of bullshit that they were projecting onto you, and it was really them, okay? Bad decisions. This person had made bad decisions. All right, and this connection brought you out of alignment. And you said, before I let them drag me down any further, it brought you out of alignment. You said, before I let them drag me down any further, I need to maintain the innocence I have, maintain my peace, maintain my self-image and my self-love, because I can't let them drag me down any further. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on for cancer, please? You could have met this person during at church or during some wholesome event, um, some type of retreat. They could even be a childhood friend. What's going on for cancer? 
This person could be trying to communicate with you or communication could just be from a different source. Communicating with your friends, family, or a job. All right? For cancer, please. What messages do you have for cancer? I'm sorry. I know it's probably loud. I got my window open and I'm right next to the highway. What's going on for cancer, please? Ooh. Beautiful. Strong. Powerful. Okay? The home is good. The kids are good. Everything is good. At least you look good. Okay? You're being well taken care of. You're taking care of yourself. Right here. Um, no longer in red. Okay? No longer in red. Okay, we got the three of cups. People want to reunite with you and celebrate with you. Okay? I hear it's been a long time coming. Yeah, six of swords. I mean, six of cups. People from the past. You can have children. People are celebrating you. Congratulations is what I hear. Okay, but be careful. The Seven of Swords, there could be an Aquarius in the mix. Wanting to be manipulative. This person could be like, I'm the one who helped them do this. I'm the one who told her how to do that. Or I'm the one who showed him how to do that. So I just see someone could be trying to take credibility for your idea or credibility that um you got as far as you got because of them and it's just like no no the fuck okay okay the moon card could be dealing with another cancer or a gemini taurus or libra clarify the seven of swords this person is sad because they left you they left you right before you had your breakthrough and they're like Damn, if I would have stayed with cancer, that breakthrough would be mine. I would have this like cancer. I would have that. All of that stuff should really be mine. Okay. Right. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands. It could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what Clarify the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This person could have tried to use sex over you or sex magic because I do see the moon. Yeah, Nine of Swords. It, they could be astral projecting, trying to sleep with you in your dreams. People do that shit. This could be something you did. I don't know. Clarify the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's, there's a feminine energy. This Queen of Wands who's like, I'm the one who helped them do this. I'm the one who showed them how to do that. They wouldn't know how to do this if it wasn't for me. Ace of Cups, they're jealous of you because they're in love with you. The Seven of Swords is they're jealous. They're in love with you. The Hierophant, they, they want to be in a connection with you. And they're doing love magic, the moon again. They're trying, they want you. You're the moon card. They want you. Literally, this, could, this comes off a little, I feel a little obsession the devil card is not here, but the feelings are the moon twice is could be obsession, deep root, like someone could be trying to put roots on you. Clarify the magician. The magician is here. Three of Pentacles. And they could have got somebody else to help them do this. What the fuck? That just turned. Can you give me the positive energy? This is a general message. I don't know why y'all telling me this. Clarify the Empress. Three of Cups and Six of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Okay, someone is trying to... What? It, the Eight of Swords and then the Ten of Swords. You could, be, you could be connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so I literally get, like, I get that it's going to kill you to get back with this person. Like, if you got back with this person, you you literally, like, D-I-E. Like, no, I'm not going to get back with this person. I'd rather die before I get back with this person. It is swords, ten of swords. 
you did work you and this person did work together you and this person did magic together that's why y'all are so connected y'all did magic together or did magic on each other ten of swords eight of swords i get a blood pack this is not for everybody i'm gonna end the reading right here <laughs> this is not for everybody the magician again Y'all can't tell me I'm crazy, bro. Y'all can't tell me I'm crazy. Like, some, some, some shit. Some, I got friends on the other side type shit is going on. We belong together, boy. We just left our lost a part of me. Okay. Let's, I'm going to do a break deck message for you guys. I'm going to do a break deck message for you guys in regards to your love life and um, intimate life. And then I'm going to close the reading. For cancer. Candy kisses. And I miss our sex. Someone's name could be Candy. When they kiss you, it's so sweet. Like candy, candy. I feel it when you walk. I feel it when you talk. It takes over me. Just like candy. Okay? And then I miss our sex. That's all I have for you guys, Cancer. I love y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a love donation. I need somebody to tell me if this shit makes sense. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.